um, today I'm doing a very poppy bright eye makeup look. Uh, I'm using blue and aqua and lately I've been seeing lots of pops of color or I've been really inspired by it. Um, if you haven't checked out my Pinterest boards, please do. I have a lot of inspirations on there for hair makeup, clothing, and it's all stuff that I love and my style and I love things with a little bit of an edge and a pop. Um, so check it out. But today we're going to do airbrush makeup and a couple of regular makeup products. I love to mix things. Um, I used to be die hard like only airbrush and now I like really love combining things and I really feel like it's the best of both worlds. So join me if you're the same way or if you're just curious. I'm doing this gorgeous kind of blue aqua eye look. It's not for everyone but it's my style and I love it. And I love to wear this with like a bright orange, um, lots of complimentary colors, um, even a red lipstick. But I thought because the background was red, I'd love to do something different, a little bit poppy. So uh, if you like it, let me know and stay tuned and the video is going to start now. Thanks. I started with a white airbrush shadow base. I already have a little bit of foundation and eyebrow on, not a lot. But um, sorry for the off angle there a little bit. So I'm eventually going to move a little bit more centered. I am going in and putting in a blue airbrush color. It's like a flat blue. And on me, the tone is very sky blue. I thought it would be a deeper, darker blue. And it wasn't. And I was hoping the white would act as a base, kind of like the old-fashioned milk pencils, and that it would really make the blue pop. But it gave it more of a milky look, which is cool too. But anyway, I put aqua on top. Like right now, you can see a lot of creases in the shadow, and that's because I was spraying layer over layer and it was a little too wet. But I do fix that at the end, so hang in there. Um, I'm taking black and doing a smoky winged liner um, just on the ends of my eye. And then I'm going to go in with a liquid liner by L'Oreal, one of my favorite, and I like to do a nice sharp inner corner. Um, I like that look. I like mixing products, like I said. So I hope you like this too. I'm just going in and I'm just putting in a couple strokes and really that's all it is. Um, it gives it a nice crisp like pinpoint look and I like that. Um, and then I'm going to go in and just keep, I'm touching up the shadow in the center making sure that it doesn't get all pilly. Um, and this is a great example of how to fix your airbrush eyeshadow if you sprayed too heavy or too many layers at once. Um, like don't worry about it. So I'm taking, I even cleaned out the gun and I sprayed with regular air over the lid. Just let it dry. And then at the very end, I go back in and I just tap like very lightly with the Aqua Shimmer, the Opalescent by Dynair, and I just pop it in the centers and that covers the gap. So if this ever happens to you, this is a really great example of how to fix it. I'm putting in some um, thicker eyelashes. I'll put a link for that. So you can see the spaces a little bit right in the lid right there. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to tap that with the um, Aqua Shimmer, the Opalescent. And so you can see it there and I'm just gradually building it very lightly and I'm also like doing different tones of color which I like. So I've got the blue, the aqua and then now going back in and popping it is giving it a bit of a greener look and it's creating a little depth. And then of course I've done the black on the ends. So that's just a little air to let it dry and then just gently layer by layer and then it'll even out. And you'll see that in my end photo where I've evened it out. I did not uh, touch up the eyeshadow. It... So this is the final product. I hope you guys like it. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see. It is a very bright poppy eye look. And just to recap, I did a white base. I already had eyeshadow concealer on did a white base with uh, airbrush makeup, then I did a blue, and then I did an aqua with shimmer in it, and that's what really pumped it up, but the layers just kind of help, and then I did a black kind of um, ombre effect cat eye on the sides, and then I did a liquid liner with a very strong lash, and I'll put a link to that video, and then I decided to go with an orange matte lipstick, and I hope you guys like it. Try and get in their clothes, yeah. It was fun, and this isn't for everyone, but I love it. I love a little bit of a kick and a little bit of a pop, and I guys, I hope you loved it too.
Thanks again, and please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and click that bell for notifications on my next videos, um, and be sure to comment if you have questions or if you just want to join in. I love hearing what you have to say, and it really inspires me to create new videos, and this is just fun for me. So thank you for watching. We'll see you again. Bye-bye. Okay guys, no filter on the eyes, just go in and practice and touch up and let it dry.